Jojo jo from Mile Split here with Samaya Samuels, who just made the final in the long jump here in Poland. Uh, how'd the competition go? Um, the competition was really good out here. I just made it to finals, so I was a little shaky. Um, I think I just need to be quicker on the board and whatnot, but um, the competition was really good. And I'm so happy I made it to finals, so I have another chance to go out there and get this gold medal. Um, can you take us through what, what were your marks through the competition? Um, all my marks were consistent. My last jump, I think I was just too hyped up and I fouled. But all my marks were like 603, 604. So they were consistent, but I just need to be quicker on the board. And this is my first time looking out in the crowd and I see my dad. So it kind of like shake me up a little bit. But I just have to make sure that you know I stay calm. Remember that he's always with me and just remember the things that he told me to do for tomorrow. And then just relax and everything should happen perfectly. Gotcha. Uh, are you able to communicate with him at all? Maybe um, through email? A little bit. I just, I'm some way, somehow I'm going to figure out how to call him tonight so I can talk to him, hear his voice. Because um, I think just hearing his voice calms me down, lets me know that, you know, I'm one of the greatest out here. I just need to just believe in myself. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm going to contact him tonight. What's your goal for this event? Um, my goal to end my high school year is to jump 22 feet. I'm always going to stick to that. I know I haven't hit near that goal as I wanted to, but I'm always going to stick to that goal because that's what, really what I want to do. This is my last chance. How long has that number been in your head? Since indoors? When you, since, indoors yeah. since indoors. Yeah. Because I was close to the indoor national record, so I wanted to say if I can't do the indoors, I'll do the outdoor. And uh, you were one of the athletes who was at uh, the Olympic trials the yeah. other week. <laughs> what was that experience like? Um, it was really amazing. It was my first time, you know, getting the trials and the finals, um, like getting that feel for it. So I'm happy I got to get the feel for that before coming to this meet. Um, but it was it was amazing getting to compete with professionals and just seeing how it will be for me in the future when I do go pro. So I was really excited. Uh, what was the biggest le learning moment takeaway from that? Um. I don't know. I think I would say it would be that um, even the greatest have to be humble. Because um, I got to meet Brittany Reese, and everybody would think that she's really cocky and whatnot, but she's really humble. And she just was really like cool, calm, collected. Even if, she, even though she was jumping far jumps, she was just she wasn't like you know going like crazy. She was just calm, just like yeah, I did it, and just went back to the back and just got ready for her next jump. Like she was calm with it. So I think even if you're professional and even if you're the best, to always be humble. And I'll carry you on again. Nice. Now, how long do you have uh, before your final? Um, tomorrow I compete at 7 o'clock ish, so I have a good amount of time. I'm just going to make sure I stay off my feet, get in the ice tub, get some you know, therapy and stuff. What's the adjustment been like to being in Poland? Do you feel like you've acclimated at this point to the time difference? No. no. It's like it's because my sleeping has been off. I haven't been able to sleep like I wanted to because right now in Texas, it's probably like 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in yeah. the morning. So like when I get back, I'm going to be so tired. But I've been now I've been able to adjust pretty well. And then the food can be a little bit better. You know, they don't use salt, but it's okay. I mean, I've been acclimating to it pretty well. So, yeah. Gotcha. Well, congrats on making the Thank final. You. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.